True loser. What? What's up, family? It's Chris, and you're watching Bad Outside TV, guys. I have my dad with me today. The coach of all coaches. What a rise of a savage. And you guys already... Can I get to that? Oh you guys already know the deal. We're back at again with another request. This one's question by Dat Nobody King. You guys know he... Who, King? Dat Nobody King. Dang. He said, no. watch, Khabib. I ain't going to try to pronounce his last name. Rise of a Rat savage. Boy. Rat boy. You will understand, coach. Rat boy. You will understand, coach, is Khabib. what they said to you. Who said this to me? This person that this requested boy. the video. Okay, first of all, Khabib Rat Boy. Uh, That's his last uh, name, Rat Boy. Okay. Rise of a savage. Come on. Okay, we go get right into the video, guys. What is this about, Khabib? Yes. But before we do, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Comment down below if you guys like this. Hit that notification bell, notification we upload, and subscribe to join the family. But as always, the coach is right about everything he says. He knows. And he can only speak the truth. I'm like a okay. crystal ball. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, the coach uh, always tell the truth. <laughs> and and having said that financially, the coach can't take care of everybody. That's the truth. But He will give you good advice. <laughs> now let's get into the video. <laughs> While most 10 year olds had their lazy asses plunked in front of a TV set playing World of Witchcraft or whatever, somewhere in the impoverished hills of Dagestan, a 10 year old Khabib was out entertaining his comrades by rolling around in the dirt grass. Yeah, uh, you believe he's wrestling a bear. Good luck with that. Anybody let their 10 year old wrestle a bear should be up on charges. At first, as soon as I was saw this, I would have went and grabbed his parents and threw him in jail. So, what do you got this little boy wrestling a bear for? Bear beat and ate him up. So is this him real? No. Not stupid. Him with a fucking bear. This video is just the type of meanwhile in Russia shit that can begin to explain why Russian fighters are typically tough as fuck and can at times have an almost haunting indifference to the prospect of gratuitous violence and just general savagery at the highest levels. But wrestling a bear sounds more brutal than... Stop right there. Stop. They're no better or no worse than any other race of people. Is that like the... Who they said? Germans? I wasn't listening. Oh, okay. Well, I can't even speak on it because I don't remember. It actually was. The reality is, the bear looks all cute and cuddly, and Khabib is just playing around. To get to the root of what really makes Khabib hard as nails, there are political, economic, cultural, and geographic... Every sentence. What, what makes Khabib... He's fighting nobody. He's fighting a bunch of nobodies. Michael, Michael Johnson. Oh, and you, 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 uh, you beat him. You raise your, that makes you Connor ready? Stop it. ...considerations. A good starting point, though, is the Spartan training camp in which Khabib was basically raised. While developing his skills in the disciplines of wrestling, judo, and combat sambo, Khabib lived with 15 other boys, training twice a day in an unforgiving military-style training regimen overseen by his father, Abdulmanap. Now, whenever we hear of a fighter getting trained by his father, it immediately begs the questions, who is this guy and what are his credentials? Abdulmanap began training wrestling at the age of eight as a powerful tool for self-defense and to instill discipline. At the age of 19, he joined the army. In 1981, I joined the Russian army and participated in all sorts of sports competitions during my time there. It was a school of discipline. He then went on to study judo in one of Ukraine's top universities and fought his way onto the Ukrainian judo team. Over the next couple of years, he began collecting trophies, winning national championships in three separate disciplines, judo, sambo, and freestyle wrestling. So obviously in his own right, Abdominap was not a man to be fucked with. And by combining his vast experience of high-level combat sports with the rigid structure of military life, he was the perfect man to mold young minds into a bunch of murderous fucking war machines. At the heart of Abdominap's training philosophy is the harsh principle of discipline 
are punishment. In a Russian documentary, Khabib stated, there were a lot of punishments. I said to the father that I didn't want to study, he punished. When he explained to me with words, I didn't understand. With the fists, I understood immediately. So by punishment, we're not talking about taking away Khabib's Game Boy. It was more of a step out of line and get the fuck smashed out of you by a grown ass man style discipline. This type of corporal punishment and military lifestyle may seem extreme or even barbaric in the West. But in Dagestan at the time, most young men were facing two options. A career in sports or militant Islam. So if you go to career guidance in Dagestan, you might be getting a fucking death sentence. In the Western world, we have the privilege of peaceful parenting. But there's no doubt in my mind that Abdul Manap was coming from a good place. He was doing everything in his power to equip his sons and students with everything they needed to deal with the harsh realities of the Caucasus. Having said that, even though that type of parenting is totally unnecessary in the West, when you look at some of the pathetic bullshit on college campuses these days, you almost wish you could stick some of these assholes in a container. This is extremely boring. This is so boring. What is they telling us? Exactly. Nobody cares about this except that one guy. What's his name? Super whatever Rob or whatever. That nobody cares. That nobody cares. That's what it should be. <laughs> that nobody cares about this. This is boring. It's just wasting my effing time. Okay, let's let's probably this move just up a fast little bit. forward. Not a little bit. All <laughs> all the way. This and ship them off to David. Show me mentally breaking. And talk about every nation over the I don't care nothing about his daddy oh his daddy trained his boys and oh please please i trained my boys and you don't see me on here ranting and raving about it <laughs> please my boys are terror and he said oh he's wrestling bear stop it why would you waste me and her time with that stupidness give us something we can use nobody can use this for nothing but what not the show go ahead lasted almost 50 years. Since then, the region has played host to a series of attempts to establish an independent Islamic state, often centered in Dagestan. The most recent of these was in 99, when there was a brief conflict between warring Islamic factions vying for control of the region. The whole affair lasted only six weeks before Russian airstrikes bombed the fuck out of their asses and brought an emphatic end to the conflict. A boule history lesson, a right. ghetto history lesson, because right. this man language is just messy. Right. Who, I mean, who is this guy, and why are we listening to him? Because that guy know. asked us to. Yeah. Bruh. That's I don't, how all I don't the videos care. go. What but you I don't about? care nothing about him asking us to watch this dumb video. Well, I didn't know that's what it was. Now you know. I thought it was going to you know be what? like we, a highlight video or something showing can, how he done worked up yeah, to being a savage or something. Right, I don't know. Right. How's it savage? It's, it's savage to my ears. My ears are being beaten down. My eardrums, I'm bleeding from the ears from this trash. This is garbage. It you really, you really raw in my nerve with these videos today. <laughs> Me? Uh, yeah, they but, requested them. Bruh, I just knew This them. is awful. This is like me watching, I, I don't know. I can't even think of nothing so bad. You see, I wanted to try to, I, I, I just wanted this to try awful. to add a Khabib video because. And now you see, nobody knows this guy. There's nothing on him except little steel pictures of him holding guns and stuff. Come on, bro. You're not going to use that gun in the cage. You're not going to, your daddy might have it on the outside, but you ain't going to have it on the inside. <laughs> so it can't help you. And then Connor's going to run up to your daddy and say, how you like that, daddy? I knocked your little boy out. I'm no bear. <laughs> I'm the whole cub tribe. We're just going to end the video. Yeah, here, this is trash. This Why y'all just... wasting our time with this trash? You know what? We're going to start uh, docking you guys when you send us <sighs> stupid silliness like this. See, the other videos he sent was good, so I thought he was good here. Oh, well, no, he I some, know when people, he I know the people ones? who sent stuff. He sent some yeah. good, okay, well, he'd get a pass then. Okay, all right, I'll take that back. You'll get yeah, a Yeah, he pass. wasn't a first-time person. Like oh, if he was a first-time person, we'll give you a star by your name, get two stars, we we blocking you because you can't, you can't pick videos. All right, you made a mistake. Now, nah, suck it up and go find us something good. Don't ever, ever bring us no garbage like this. Steal pictures 
of him wrestling a bear. Ooh, he wrestling a bear. And the bear had been tranquilized and, and like stabbed and butchered. Bear's dead. You know what I mean? Because we don't know because it's just a picture. Mm-hmm. Now let him get in there with a real bear. Okay. All right, I want to see that. I was oh, yeah, he is a savage, right? Yeah. But not with no little teddy bear. You know what? He probably would have beat Bob Sapp. That big old teddy bear, right? <laughs> big old black teddy bear. <laughs> that boy's soft as clay. Man, come on. All right, we're going to give that guy a pass, but we ain't watching the rest of this garbage. This is this the is end, end of the we video, God. I got nothing else to say. If you would like to see the original video by yourself, the link will be down in the description Don't below. waste your time. And Don't so it's my social media. Add me, follow me. You guys should already it's know trash. the deal. But since this is the end of the video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, trash. subscribe, and share. Comment down below what you, <laughs> <laughs> what you guys like to see. That Hit that notification bell, get the notification we upload, and subscribe to join the family. That's right, and the coach is telling you this is trash. <laughs> don't, don't watch it by yourself. If you hate somebody, send them the link. <laughs> That's right, if you hate them, send them the link, and they'll hate you right back. I guarantee you'll get some heat. You sending somebody this dull video. But the coach is always right, and he's going to give you Good what you need. He may not give you what you want, but he's going to give you what you need. And the coach can't take care of everybody financially, but he will. Give you good advice. Right. See you guys next Don't watch video. this crap ever again. See you guys in the next video. Don't get video. another strike. What's his name? Just <laughs> don't give him no. <laughs> See that, you guys in the That's trash. Don't send us no more trash like this, boy. <laughs> you get barred in this trash. See you guys in the next video. Yeah, not if you're sending this guy. <laughs>